Good morning, family and friends. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how regular I'm going to be able to uh, do this, but I thought before I leave, because I'm about to leave in a few minutes already, it's 8 in the morning. I'm not working, but I, I have a full day already today. Um, I'm not complaining. Just so much is falling into place already for how I, how I want to be living. So um, I have records to um, take to the post office this morning, more sales. I'm meeting with my um, former drummer, Gary Foster. Well, he is still my drummer. If I say that my band is doing anything, Gary is first call. Uh, he just come back from uh, an East Coast tour with uh, a... a um, folk artist that I hope you all hear about by the name of Ember Schrag. I'll try to write her name. She's really good. Real good. They just come back from a short tour. Helena Espinal. Did I say her name right? They played with her, among others. Um, they've also performed with members of Sunrise Orchestra on tour before. And Henry Grimes, Henry Grimes, or rather a bass player that played with Henry Grimes. Let me, okay. It's early. Anyway. Um, I, don't, I, I, I want to get better at spilling the beans, but um, another project is, um, is going to take shape here shortly that um, I think your folks in the VC will dig, you know. I'll just, uh, I need to... Uh, <clears throat> need to talk a little bit and then then I then I'll then we'll know what there is to tell you but I'm excited already about the prospect of another new project you know with someone who I respect and admire already for a short time I've known him um, so before I show some music I listened to yesterday um, with um, icky blossoms were over I had them over and uh, Man, shit's just jumping here in Omaha with some of us. Some of us, I will speak collectively for some of us Omaha musicians. Shit is jumping, and I can tell you, Bright Eyes um, fans, and I, yeah, I can tell you, Des Desperados are getting back together. Yeah, you know, um, just a lot of shit is jumping, you know. So anyway. What did we listen to? That's what's neat. You know, when people come by, um, the new bass player of Icky Blossom, Saber, pretty cool young cat. I uh, love his style. And um, first time to the house, and he just about shits his drawers. I love that when, I, when that happens, you know. He's a music nut and really went nuts. <clears throat> and um, had one of those moments where it was so much fun because he thought, okay, you know, I see all this stuff, but you know, have you ever heard of this heat? Oh, right here, my friend. Original copy. I bought it when it came out. How did I, how do you know? Do you know about Quiet Sun? No. Okay, so where I first heard of Charles Hayward, which is who he was, is really uh, enamored with off this album, is the drummer Charles Hayward, for good reason. This is, as you know, it's phenomenal. We listened to Side One yesterday, and of course, I'm real familiar with it, but hearing it in the company and with the excitement in the air, this was like, my God, this exploded off the uh, turntable. This is so ahead of its time. And then we went back. Uh, neither Nick nor Saber knew anything about Quiet Sun. And then we started talking about who's on the album. Well, you know, Eno, Phil Manzanera, of course, Charles Hayward. And then we played side one and just knocked them out, you know. And the other thing I like about turning Nick Fackler onto music is he gets ideas right away. That's why I like to work with Nick. He's just an ideas person. His mind is restless. So we listen to those um, two records together. I myself hold the um, Christian Death and played this. I played actually side one twice all the way through because I just love this album. Roz Williams' voice, he's dead, but, man, it's like um, this guy was an elegant version of what Marilyn Manson wishes he could be, 
I mean that. This guy was... And then if you ever see any of his uh, live performance videos, it's no wonder he's dead because he was on the edge. You know, he was about the moment and really didn't live very safely at all. <laughs> but this album is freaking fantastic. Um... I got a Christian Death t-shirt coming from my Rick. Um, later in the day, I got a chance to, to listen some more. And I played some of Birmingham Sunday. I told you about this not too long ago. This is an old unreleased gem of, of sunshine pop from the 60s. Psych sunshine. It's more psych pop than sunshine, but it's got that element too. To me, still, I would say a, a more psychedelic version of Spanky and Our Gang mixed with Mamas and Papas. I think this album is just fantastic. So I listened to some of that. I tried to settle down and watch some videos, and um, I'll tell you what, right now, I'm so excited about what's going on. Watching others is, is hard right now. So I got through a couple, and I want to shout out to Calvair61, who has an amazing collection of all sorts of music. I, I was looking at his Doom Prague collection, just eye-popping shit, my brother. Man, your collection is badass. If y'all don't know Calvier 61, check his shit out. Man, that guy, he knows his stuff. And I'm thinking, man, I'd see that. He, he's one of those people that's almost like, I can't watch because the next thing I want to do is I want to start looking up how to get some of these records that he has that I don't have. And I don't have the money right now to do that. He did show some records I have, you know, but man, he showed a whole lot more I don't. <laughs> So that was fun. I checked in with King's drummer who bought the uh, Van Halen on colored vinyl, man. Go for it. You know what I'm saying? Makes you happy. Go for it. You know, and they're going to soak you no matter what with those new vinyl releases by major artists. They're going to get your money. When I bought them, Peter Gabriel, New Blood, that was 40 bucks, you know, sold though. I watched Cool Ranch Dressing, you know, had to settle down and find a good 27 minutes to just watch them because I just love uh, <laughs> River and Shelly. And the two together, I mean, both of them alone, when they, they made videos, are very, very interesting people. But together, that is the dynamic duo. But I notice that <clears throat> where I'm at right now is I'll watch a little bit, and then I get restless, and my mind goes, and I then I'm off doing something. So there, and then I have to again just be honest. I love all of you, but some of some people's videos I really cannot watch. Um, they're really, they're really, they're really hard to watch. And so, I, please just understand. You know, I love you, but some folks, you know, um, watching you is is like watching wallpaper. You know, and that's not an insult; it's just a fact. I love you though, okay, and keep posting your videos, please. Okay, what else is sitting down here? Um, played a little bit of this again the other day. Uh, Other Lives. Man, this is fantastic. This is so well accomplished and well recorded, and the songs are so deep. Yeah, I saw these guys uh, in March open for Radiohead down in Kansas City. This is excellent. Didn't get to do a whole side, but I did play it. Played this. I was talking to y'all about how I used to cover this band in Digital Sex, and it's got that 80s um, digital uh, sound, but these are some great songs. Look this up, November Group, Persistent Memories. This is really, really good, 80s, early 80s. Really enjoyed that. Um, let's see, I played the October. This is fantastic. So cool. I wish I knew what, what they were saying in French. Probably talking about scoring some amazing women down at the club. It's just so, this is so cool. Even now, this sounds more, this has survived better than the November group, even though it's got an 80s sound. This could, this sounds so tough, October. <clears throat> yeah, I've told you about these, and um, so I haven't really pulled anything because I've been out of town. Um, Looking around to see if there's anything else I can just share right quick. No, I got a heavy day today. Y'all have a good one, and I'll be I'll be in touch.